to go through your significant other's phone if you suspect them of cheating. Yes. Well, that's that's not my girl, so I yes, know, it's fine. We'll get right now. <laughs> You're not together. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all are holding hands right now, so what's up with that? Shit, hey, just how it is. You feel me? Look. Ooh. I like what I like. She uh, like what she like. Hey, fair enough. We got we got different. They're we got different pubs. Hey, guys, listen to me. Guys, listen to me. They're still in the puppy phase, all right? Wait two months. No, I told him. And you're gonna be asking him, for his phone. I told him wait two years, and then we can Ooh. talk about it. Two, God, wait two, two years. Talk about what? Dating. Hey, are y'all smashing? No cap. Dating, baby. I'm gonna be friends. Two months. No, two months. I drive from Austin friend. every weekend just to see him. Y'all are dating. Y'all are dating. Yes. Y'all are dating. We're dating. Hey, we she drives from Austin. From here. You told me that. Y'all are dating. Y'all are dating. Y'all ain't fucking y'all dating. Hey, but she know where we stand. Now, I will never understand situationships. You either are together or you aren't. At the end of the day, someone's going to be heartbroken and someone's catching feelings. And someone wants to be in that relationship and then just one person stopping it. If you are that person, understand that you probably should not be with them. They're just going to break your heart and they're just wasting your time, in my opinion. Hey. You want to share a secret with me and Mayno? Yes. Okay, we're listening. Um, so I have nine children. Um, by different fathers. I only know who three of their fathers are. Mm. You don't yeah. know who three of the fathers are? That's what you said? I only know She who only knows three of the fathers. So all nine children have nine different fathers? Mm, I, would, I would think those three have the same one. Okay, so the so three of the kids have the same father, but six of them have different fathers. Yeah. Okay, so um, is this is a secret? No one knows this. No. So who do people think the other um six childrens who the father is? Whoever I tell them. Oh, God. Oh, what? So you, okay. Do a DNA test. In my opinion, she is probably like ripping one of these dads up saying, yo, this is your son, this is your daughter, pay child support. The only way to avoid this is obviously just doing a bunch of DNA tests, seeing who the father really is. And I'm surprised none of those fathers actually did that. Due to the fact that there's two other guys in the equation. I've never heard of a woman be in the streets this badly. To be honest, I feel so bad for those kids. Hi, thank you for giving me this dream. You are pretty cute. <laughs> Did he just close that? Are you kidding me? What? Dude, he's so rude. I'm so embarrassed. He's so rude. I'm so embarrassed. I don't know why people do this weird stuff on the internet. Do you think this is gonna get millions of views and someone's gonna be clapping and crying at the drive through No, bro, it's a drive through Hurry your ass up and just move to the next person. To act like a husband in a boyfriend stage, but you don't feel as though you need to act like a wife in a girlfriend stage until somebody chooses to make you a wife. Make it make sense. If you never displayed qualities of being a wife, why would anybody want to make you one? Like We feel like we just have to offer minimal effort and that should be significant enough. That and the cat should just have it in the bag. I don't know about y'all, but if I'm choosing to be in a relationship, I'm in it to win it. Do you want dinner, baby? Massage, baby? Baby, what do you need? Y'all are literally admitting to doing half and then wondering why you still are not a wife and they got the audacity to be complaining about why Suzanne's a wife before you you haven't showed anything you're doing what any other do stand out she's absolutely correct and to be honest i really do think a part of the reason is because there's a bunch of single women who are just spiteful towards men and who are giving advice towards other single women pretty much keeping them all single and as side chicks saying things like use men make sure you're talking to seven guys at once make sure you run his pockets if he's not loaded don't be with him and for some other reason they think they're the prize that they don't have to put in any energy or effort but in reality no man is gonna marry a woman like that we want to see the wife side first before we even get to take that chance man asked me if i wanted to run errands with him how weird that this guy thinks that I want to pick up laundry detergent with him. And I realized they're leveling up. This is the new way that men are like playing house to get women. Before it was, I just want to sit back and have a glass of wine and watch a movie together. And now it's let's get coffee and run in. This is exactly what I mean compared to the last clip. Why can't you do those things? As a wife, you're going to do that in the future anyways, but you don't want to do it on a date. Like it just comes off super bad. How long have you guys been together? 10 years, more than 10 years. How did you bag her? How did I bag her? <laughs> I got her a bag. <laughs> kind of bag. <laughs> Chanel! Chanel. <laughs> this is my natural game. What did you do? I can't talk about that on the radio. <laughs> do you allow your partner to have guy friends? Not as of a couple days ago. Shut your <laughs> ass up! <laughs> Oh, no, yes, he does. And do you allow your man to have girlfriends? Yeah, as long as they're fat and ugly. <laughs> are you guys married? Yeah, we are. Okay, okay, okay. How much did you drop on the engagement ring? Fat! Fat! Three times his salary. 
clap. This is not a marriage or relationship in my opinion. It's just a business transaction. This guy is getting something from her, which is, I guess, her looks and her body. And this woman is getting his money. Do I think they're madly in love? Absolutely not. Because the moment this guy goes broke, she is leaving as well. And she's not going to be waiting until he gets his money up. She's going to move on to the next. Still from 1 to 10, but first, take a good look. I'm going to say hard four. What? That's kind of low. What could be better? Well, your foundation doesn't match your neck. Uh, you got fake and your eyes are kind of spread far apart. How do you know they're fake? Uh, just by the whole overall body size. That does not match up. That was kind of rude. Um, thank you. Dude, sometimes I watch these clips and I'm like, man, that guy's being a bit too mean. But in my opinion, this girl's just doing this for clicks and views on TikTok to show off her OnlyFans page. So if you are being rude to them, to be honest, it doesn't matter. They really don't care. They'll take it as more views. What's the worst type of car a guy can drive? Honda. Why a Honda? My ex owns a Honda dealership. Uh, okay, <laughs> since you're twerking. Kiss, <laughs> kiss or slap? I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> You're too old for me, too old. Oh, you guys thought only women were doing these kind of stupid trends? No, there's also men doing it, which is just even more cringe in my opinion. My dress, your butt looks big, and you look kind of fat. Where's, what is the thing that I put on my cheek and then you wipe off? Blush. Where is it? I look kind oh, of fat or it, I look really fat? Really fat. Was it this one? Yeah. Hey, they always say if you want an honest answer, ask a child because that child will be so blunt with you and they won't care to hurt your feelings. And get paid less than men. Um, maybe women aren't acting as they should. Maybe they're acting weird so people think that they shouldn't be treated as fairly as men would be. Damn. I do think that women make less money than men. Because men work harder. Harder in like real estate and other jobs. How do you know that? Because my dad's a real estate agent. Have you ever seen a female real estate agent? Uh, yes, I've seen a couple. And you think they don't work as hard? I think they slouch. Now the question does come up, how do these kids come up with these answers? I don't think their parents are influencing them to think this way. I think they're actually seeing it with their own eyes. And for them to come up with it at that age, you know it's not biased. Ready? Damn, boo, I know these pants are in style right now, but... Gosh dang, they're just not sexy. Damn. My eyebrows look good. Daisy? Yeah. Are you texting your boyfriend? No, I have 50 million boyfriends. Let me try. I'm a what? Uh huh. Uh -huh. What? Like I said, you gotta watch out what you say around these kids. They do not care about hurting your feelings. All right, girl, I'm gonna show you how to change the tire, eh? Cause you don't need a man in your life. Yeah. No, I think I like you need a man in your life, eh? Yeah, I, yeah, Dad. I need a, I need a man. Why do you need a man? I'm gonna show you, so you won't need one. I need one, and I want one. <laughs> He's trying to show you something. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. Once again, like I said, do you think these kids are coming up with these answers on their own or are their parents telling them these things? I definitely think this is just a natural feeling. But nowadays, we have women on the internet spewing garbage saying you don't need a man. Work a job. Use men up. Be an independent woman. But at the end of the day, that's all BS compared to what this is. Now that we've established that you're single and wealthy and looking, do you want to come back to my place, Mark? Uh, no. We never got around to go on a date because every single day he would text me, hey, or hello. After a while, I got annoyed, so I kind of told him, hey, by the way, you know, what's your deal? Because you keep texting me those one word and you keep saying the same hey every day. So instead of responding, like the very next day, he texts me, hola, just to mix it up a little. <laughs> so I felt like... <laughs> Wait, right. So I guess he was probably paying attention, but at the same time, that's really not the point. The point is like every single day you're texting me, hey, not like, hey, would you like to go on a coffee? Would you like to meet up? Nothing, just hey. So at some point, I'm just asking because this happens like a lot these days. I don't know what's the text messaging business now. Now, I don't mean to be that guy, but there are some men out there that just don't like texting. I know a bunch of my friends who suck at texting but are great in person. Maybe that's the kind of guy you're talking to. You have no idea. Some people don't talk at all until the date even happens. Once again, it just really depends on the person you're talking to. Oh, you know what the f is worse than heartbreak? When a loyal simp just moved on. What the f No, because you need to come back here right now. What did I do wrong? 
A round of applause for that guy, finally a man who actually understood his value and realized he was not getting any respect from this woman, so he left. Don't get me wrong, it does take some time for most guys. Stop being a simp and get out of that phase immediately. But that's it for you guys, so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.